SpongeBob SquarePants is one of the is one of those favorite shows that I love watching on television. Other than Angry Beavers, Hey Arnold, Rugrats, and SpongeBob shows its breaking points, featuring a variety of many genres from action to drama. This cheery animated kids show features a happy-go-lucky, hard-working Sponge by the name of SpongeBob, who goes on adventures with his best friend and neighbor Patrick Star, known as a dumb fat ste star. On the other hand, Squidward is a mean and bossy octopus who's always bragging about himself. Mr. Krabs, the owner of the Krusty Krab, is a crab who's greedy and wants everything free for him so that he wouldn't have to pay with his own money. Otherwise, he would act dramatically towards others. Pushing that background information about the show aside, I'll tell you about my story now. One day, I'd gotten sick from school because I had caught a stomach virus, which meant that I couldn't find a way to stop puking every three minutes which was great. Anyway, I turned on the TV and went to Nickelodeon Station to watch Spongebob. One of my favorite episodes I preferred watching were more from season 1, 2, 3, and a little bit of 5 and 6. According to my FOS got TV guide, it said that the new episodes of Spongebob Squarepants were releasing about an hour later. As both of my eyes were wide with astonishment, I was excited to see it. Despite my enthusiasm, the flu took over me like a demon trying to get into my body. I vomited onto my soft, cold blanket, but yet I didn't care. A few minutes had passed. After a few seconds of SpongeBob finally ended, an advertisement showed up with a male announcer saying that the usual cheerful voice, like in other Nickelodeon commercials, don't go away. A new SpongeBob SquarePants episode is going to air in about five minutes. If you watch this episode once, it will never air again on television. I smiled for a second and then stopped abruptly. I repeated the announcer's words in my head and was confused. Why would they only show an episode one time on television and never air it again? I looked at the clock and it was around 12.55, exactly five minutes before the episode started. Commercials started to play into the screen for about three minutes before going back into the advertisement, but this time the announcer started to say something else. Now showing a new SpongeBob episode, I repeat, if you watch the special episode once, It'll never air on TV again. That's what I thought he said. After this, the commercial then cut to the show. The opening sequence starts out normally as usual, but the animation looked sort of off, which made the song not really in sync. After the intro ended, the show cut to a title card as a loud, low, heavy, distorted buzz started to fill the speakers. I covered my ears as soon as the sound stopped for what seemed to be about six seconds. The title card had a blue background with the white usual Spongebob font that had that read, Spongebob's Hallucination. I started to think that this was obviously a joke, but curiosity knocked right into me hard, like a bullet, saying it's not. Music wasn't playing at this part, but I could have sworn I heard a woman screaming playfully and faintly in the background as the words started to flicker red. It could have just been my imagination. No. I actually heard that for real. The title card didn't show up. No animation directors, storyboard artists, nothing. It just skipped right to the episode. The episode started off with an outside look of SpongeBob's house without the usual bubble transition. The pineapple looks sort of rotten, the tops are slanted downwards, and the skin around the house looks sort of bright yellowish. The windows look sort of broken as if someone had threw a rock through them. The audio starts with a loud, slow, twisted tune with what sounded like an old film projector playing in the background, accompanied by a distorted sound of an unknown voice singing. A voice overlapping one of the sounds that sounded like Patrick, telling Spongebob that he's outside. The voice was deeper than usual. It sounded as if it was a middle-aged man that was imitating Patrick in a normal voice but slightly pitched down. As the distorted tune gets, mysteri gets mysterious than before, the voice called out to Spongebob again. The camera cut to one of the broken windows, and in the first one was Spongebob. He was sitting on a floor in what appeared to be the, his kitchen. One of the walls looked decayed from the inside as well. They were peeling off before turning gray, and one of the barrels that Spongebob used to own were on the ground, broken. The camera angle cuts back to Spongebob, putting his legs to his chest with his hands around him. The deep voice of Patrick called out to Spongebob once more, and another voice tried to do the same, but I couldn't make out what the other voice was trying to tell him. 
The song gets louder and more obscure at this point. During the next two seconds, the camera crossfades to the right side of SpongeBob, showing his wide bloodshot eyes looking off camera and dry lips. His head looked like it was a different color, sort of a darker yellow tint, and the walls of the kitchen room began to change quickly. For a few seconds, he looked at something by him as if it was someone else with him. The camera abruptly shot to Gary who was eating his food in his usual bowl. A second passed and Gary turned into a hunk of rotting meat. The name of Gary's bowl had been scribbled out. The camera shot the, to the whole kitchen room and many slow and audible voices were playing at this point. The screen resembled negative and original colors back and forth as the camera started shaking. The colors of the kitchen room started to change at this point and the camera angle shot back to Spongebob, now looking afraid. The voice of Patrick was loud and not deep this time. He repeatedly called out Spongebob's name three times before impossible videos overlapped to the changing colors. One was of a little girl in high heels crushing a worm with their feet. The second one was of somebody split, somebody spit dissolving. And the third one was of a 12 to 10 year old girl disemboweling herself with a razor. During this time, she screamed out in agony and raw fear as she felt the sharp end of the razor pierce into her stomach. The fourth video showed a gold clip of a fully naked baby crying in bed as a woman sitting beside her started to play with her. What's horrifying is that the baby's eyes were inverted and the mouth had an overbite revealing two front teeth. I lost it at this point. I pretty much wind up puking all over the blanket and the floor like it was one large spill. I coughed harshly after that, put my hand over my forehead and lied down on the couch, returning to watch the episode. The fourth video faded out and the rest of the colors stopped abruptly as the camera cut to Spongebob in a reflection, looking grosser than ever. Worms were wiggling around in his holes and one of his eyes were popped out of their sockets and his mouth was wide open, revealing one or two front teeth missing. The, his whole head looked really off and white as if it was drawn in a realistic style. One of his hairs was standing out on each side of his face. A sound of a woman screaming in pain began to play, panning from left to right on the speakers. The other soundtrack stopped at this point, fading out. But the, sound, but the slow sound of wind chimes can be heard in the background accompanied by Patrick's deep voice singing Spongebob's name. Now back to his scared look again. Spongebob gets up and tries to walk, crawl, or whatever he could do to get to the window before putting his face out of it. The camera cut to a view of the outside, the pathway to Spongebob's house, as various buzzes began to play loudly to the speakers at like a group of bees. The sky was black and white. Large particles of black started fuzzing in the air while brown particles started to move around the floor like flies. The background during this time showed a clip of cells joining together while moving around. The camera abruptly shot back to Spongebob's gloomy face. Patrick's voice calls out to Spongebob in that sing-song voice again. Leave me alone! Spongebob shouted at him. Spongebob? The voice asked him. What? What? What do you want with me? Spongebob said. The deep voice answered with something I couldn't really make out before a picture zoomed into a black and white shot of a woman's face totally bruised up and beaten. Her eyes were misplaced into her forehead, and she had squiggly black hair, and her mouth was open in an absolute shock while blood ran down from the left side of her cheek. The picture swelled up for a split second before a loud screech tore through my ears. I vomited some more and put my head back under the arm of the couch. Grotesque photos of death, murder, and suicide were quickly overlapping the screen as the whole kitchen room began to shake violently. One of Spongebob's picture frames, his refrigerator, and everything was falling down on the ground, and the walls were peeling faster than before. Colors flashed again on the screen like it was a party or something like that, and the loud noises of cows and pigs dying are played in the background, as if they sounded like they were from a slaughterhouse. The noises in the obscured colors stopped for about 20 seconds, and the look on Spongebob's face grew out of a raw horrid. The noises were back, growing more fierce as Spongebob ran out of the kitchen room, crying his eyes out. Spongebob opened the door that led to his living room as his noises got more indistinguishable than before. The voice of Patrick calling out to Spongebob again, saying that he's in there. Spongebob looked around in the room but saw nothing. Tears were quickly streaming down his face like a waterfall 
as he got into his desk, writing his last words in what appeared to be his journal. I can't tell if it was a dream. I was in shock as I heard this sentence. The voices and the noise grew louder before it abruptly ends to the hissing noise of Sadek. The episode ends with the usual credits, but there was no music, and the words were horizontally flipped. What would I say about this episode? Needless to say, I'm scared out of my mind after I saw that. I went into my computer to look up the title of the episode, but no results showed up. Nothing. Hello there, my little shadows. It's me again, your master, the Shadow Reader. I hope you all enjoyed this little tale of horror. I honestly hope I didn't traumatize you too much after this. If you're new here and want to become one of my little shadows, then hit that subscribe button down below, and also make sure to turn on post notifications so that you can be the first to watch my brand new content when it comes out. <laughs> Until then, sweet dreams, my little shadows. <laughs>not only this one little episode changed my entire outlook of spongebob squarepants it was still messed up nonetheless after watching it it made me have nightmares later that night and despite my curiosity there was a bunch of questions that were randomly popping into my head about this episode why did spongebob have that horrible hallucination what caused him to do this was spongebob even alive at the end of the episode Pushing these questions aside, there was another one that left me speechless to this very day. How did the authors get away with making such an odd, abnormal episode like this?